Ta-da! I finally got it! Yay! Turns out it was on the way. It was just sent separately and I didn't get the tracking number. So, uh, just picked this up All right now. I'll put this on a steady mount after this. I just want to open it. See if everything is there. So, let's see. Mm -hmm. I will do an unboxing of each of these separately. In this video, I will do the base game, Hand of the King, rewards for backing, that sort of stuff. And each individual unit I will do as a separate video so it's easier to find. So, yeah, just find the video. They should be up. I mean, I'll record all of them today. And, uh, yeah, if you're looking for something specific, just look for that. So, Neutral Heroes 1. Let's see, a Bolton Cutthroats. Uh -huh. Lannister Heroes 1. Bolton's Bastard Girls. Bolton Bastards Girls. That's ugh, not easy to say. Stark Heroes 1. Bolton Flayed Men. Some naughty fellas that are there. Oh. Stark Bowman. I kind of think I should have got one more unit of these. Oh, I'll pick them up later. They're not exclusive anyway. Another unit, Knights of Casterly Rock. I already have an unboxing video up of that as I got one. Um, so, yeah, I won't do another, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> That video was long and rambly anyway. Uh, a Lannister crossbowman. These I'm looking forward to opening too. I'm looking forward to seeing how good ranged is in this game. I mean, it's, it's only 12 inches, which a lot of people seem to be able to cover without ever having to be fired upon. Oh, and my Tully sworn shields. Well, these, I'm afraid, might end up being the backbone of my army, because I can't... I'm pretty sure Swan Swords can't go up against Lannister Guards, even though they're supposed to. I just I just don't see it on the stats. So, uh, yeah. We'll see. Hand of the King. I'll do an unboxing on Steadicam. I'm just gonna take a sneak peek. So this is probably a lot of alternate sculpts. We'll, we'll look at that in a sec. Just want to see what's in the box. What's in the box? Uh, oh, sorry. Alternate Sander Clegane. Alternate Rob Stark. Alternate Champion of the Faith. And alternate Dreadfort Captain. Huh. I do not remember what he looks like. It does ring a bell though. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, okay. And I'm guessing the rest is just a Zebase game. That's a hefty box. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let me uh, pause this and continue the video on Steadicam. So we'll do basically what I have on my dirty floor right now. Those those bits and this bit, and then that bit we'll do separately. All right, see you in a bit. All right, welcome back. So, small change of plans. Uh, first of all, I hope the camera doesn't fall down because it's, uh, yeah. It's kind of taped to all kinds of things. Uh, yeah. So I changed my mind. I'm just gonna do the hand of thinking, all the Kickstarter exclusive stuff unboxing. Uh, Cause what I thought was, people probably wanna see the starter set like post Kickstarter uh and not be like miserable about what they missed or just waste their time with all that so i'm gonna do a, a, a base game unboxing 
so people that go out and buy it like five years from now will look, know what it looks like. So let's get started with some of these. Um, I think I think might be we'll we'll do these first, and then we'll take the big box as the uh, as the cake. So let's just start here. Can I'll read that alternate Sandor Clegane. <laughs> Chigane. Uh oh, is this a is this a knockoff? <laughs> I haven't heard of House Chigane before. <laughs> It's clearly a typo. Oh, nice. Yeah. This actually has the hound's helmet on. Sorry, I'm not in frame. Here we go. Let's see. The lighting is probably not optimal for this today. It's gray and rainy outside, which is actually awesome. Anyway, sorry, back to the miniatures. Get him. I'm gonna get some light. Eh. This should be fun. Good old loyal dog. Well, to a certain extent. <laughs> I think I prefer this one over the standard one. I believe the standard one he doesn't have a helmet on. But we'll see when we get there. So at least for now, that's a House Lannister thing. I'm sure there'll be an alternate. Probably neutral or stark Targaryen thing. Who knows? Okay, oh, sorry, I'm opening this off. Uh, alternate champion of the faith. Now, this is one you can only get if you bought a second unit of Knights of Casterly Rock, which I didn't really fancy, but I mean, I might as well get the last exclusive one here. So, a little bit curious why he's a Lannister hero. I mean, not for very long in the story were they ever sort of an ally to the Lannisters. They're more causing trouble for them. I felt like this should have been a neutral thing. Maybe. But I guess I can see why. It's a cool helmet. Lots of details. Star of the Seven, all of that. Looks pretty cool. Wonder what the real one's gonna look like, or the production version. All right, that's two Lannister dudes. Let's see what we have here. Alternate Dreadford Captain. Should be good, especially since I can't remember what he looks like. Dun, dun, dun. Uh -huh. Still doesn't ring a bell. Looking good. I like it. Doesn't look as thuggish as the rest of them. I mean, they're until they broke their oath, they were still northerners, northern bannermen. I mean, they shouldn't be that far outliers. I like this. This is cool. There's lots of details on this guy. All right, let's do the last of them. Uh, pause the video and take out the big box. Sorry, alternate Rob Stark. Oh, stack. Oh no, it strikes again. Rob Stack and the uh, House Chigane. <laughs> uh, that's that's lovely. Oh uh, yeah. So I think I prefer this one more than the original as well, which is lucky. <laughs> but I guess it sucks for those that won't be able to get these. And I'm not planning on selling them. Sorry, eBayers. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, it's getting 
increasingly difficult to paint them like the TV show, as I said in one of my other videos, because they do differ a little bit. But I'll make it work. I will make it work. Right. I'm going to pause real quick and then bring out the box. Alrighty then. Actually, it wasn't that difficult to lift the box up. <laughs> I'm just making some lunch right now. I haven't eaten anything today because of this. <laughs> so I had to go check on it. There. I'm being honest and transparent. That's the way the internet wants it, right? Okay. As you can all see, Hand of the King. I wish I had like a Hand of the King badge that I could put on my, my cosplay. <laughs> I don't have a cosplay yet. Just a, sorry, it's all off camera. Uh, just a piece of foam, there's nothing special about it. Um, the Iron Throne, which is a ridiculously big token for having first turn, but still very, very awesome. I'm sure it'll, I don't know what I'll use it for yet, but it'll be cool, regardless. There we go. Let's see, where should we dig in? Uh, let's get the scumbags out the way first and then take out the good guys. Yeah, that's right, I said it. Oh, let's look at this base. And the cards. So this is for the standalone mountain. Well, oh, start with him then. Well, I'm sure this guy will be in sale soon enough, but for those that want to see, he's a four point unit, of course, when he's a standalone. I believe you can also use him as an attachment. So four wounds, cleaving blows, all the ridiculous stuff he does. Six is deal two hits, enemies become panic, defend, defenders do not get defense saves. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, of course, morale is uh, not an issue for him. And he does actually have a 2 plus and 3 plus to hit with 4 attacks and movement 5. And yeah, he still gets the free maneuver action because he's cavalry. So, uh, gotta be honest with you guys. I think this is probably the 4 best points you can spend in the game in terms of a combat unit. Well, he doesn't have the hit points like a like a infantry unit would have, but you know what? Maybe not. But it's damn good. It's damn good. Let's just say that. Uh, let's go through the cards in a little bit. You guys want to see the miniatures? That's what's special about this. The rules will be out eventually for for the other units if there aren't already when you're watching this. Let's see. Oh, it's taped. That's why. It's being a little a bit troublesome. We'll get there. There we go. All right, I'll bring it back in too. Holy moly, that's that's a big dude. <laughs> nice, very nice. Oh, he is a intimidating guy. Let's uh, compare him to a couple of cavalry. So, this is a Lannister cavalry man. Focus, damn it. Certainly rides a big horse as well. A mountain horse. It's like a great sword in one hand. That's very cool. I'm really sorry about the lighting. I've, I don't think I can do much about it. I'm going to pull down the shades, but then it's super dark in here. See the details on his chest. If 
Very nice, very nice. There we go. Standalone unit. Actually, maybe some of you guys want to see the next to an Outrider. These are still being painted up. <laughs> they look, they look tiny in comparison. Okay, let's move on. There's a lot of miniatures to get through. Let's do another mountain. <laughs> I, I have three mountains. It's enough for a mountain range. Do -do oh God. Lighting is not good on red miniatures today. It's really cool. I think, I think I prefer this over the standard version as well. Normally I don't like unhelmeted dude, but dudes, but yeah. I dig this. This is great. Hmm. Didn't think I was going to be tempted, but I'm tempted to paint him soon. Like as one of the first Lannister things. Let's do a couple of Jamie. No, there's just one Jamie in here. It's the maimed version. I do believe that this is not a Kickstarter exclusive thing. Can't remember which one of these are alternate sculpts and not. Yeah, Maimed Jamie, which is a, uh, I think this is a ridiculously good attachment. I believe like you attach him to an enemy unit, and that unit takes, I think D three automatic hits or wounds. I can't remember like every single turn. It's just ridiculous. Oh, and there's something else. I can't remember what it is, but I mean, that ability alone is, oh, it's two Lannisters first. So this is a guard captain, I believe, alternate sculpt, an exclusive thing. Go away, you stupid fly. Yeah. Let's see if I can. A little bit of battle damage in his superior armor, huh? Cool, very cool. Like it. And an alternate assault veteran with the long Goldilocks hair. <laughs> Even though he's not related to the family. Well, I suppose he could be a, like a. Maybe this is Lancel. <laughs> yeah, looks good. Looks really good. Assault veterans, I think, is pretty strong. Well, guard captains are strong too. I, those one point dudes are really good. Okay, let's move on to the neutral ones. Here's uh, Brienne of Tarth. I do believe that this is. Let me actually, instead of guessing, let me check real quick. She should be in neutral heroes one if she is. If this is an exclusive. Sorry for not knowing this. Offhand, there's a lot of them, and I have been busy. Of course, it's the very first box. Let's see. Oh, she's not in there. So she's probably not an exclusive thing. Anyway, I'll give her a twirl. I do not remember her abilities. I haven't paid much attention to the uh, neutral ones, except for Peter Baelish. Uh, he's making it very difficult to not run, or to run a pure Stark army without any neutral stuff, because I think he's ridiculously good. <laughs> like, stupid good. Uh, this is Brawn, I believe. The Cell Sword. He could just as well have been a Lannister. As I do not believe we've ever seen him do anything else than fight for the Lannisters. Well, that's actually not true. He went with Catelyn to the Eyrie. I really like this miniature. It's a good one. It's a really good one. Probably, again, not exclusive. I think this is Ramsey, and he is 
in this box. So this is an alternate exclusive thing for Kickstarter with his flaying knife. A very sadistic look on his face. I, I do apologize for the lighting. But I could not wait. It had to be now. This is an exclusive Kickstarter thing. The High Seneschal. A.K.A. <laughs> George himself. Uh, he has no in-game abilities. He's just a 0.0 uh, .0 ability character. Well, I guess he's not even 0 points. It's just a little miniature. He's there to uh, keep record of all your wins and losses. You know what? I might actually do that. I, I might actually try and put like tiny little lines in there if I win a game or something. Like, okay, it has to be a legit game because, uh, shit, how do I define this? Like tournament games maybe? Yeah, tournament games. Okay, it's on record now. So you'll see this page be empty for a long time. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, look at some star units. Mm. So, well, sorry, this is Brandon Tully, the Blackfish, as a cavalry commander. But what I this is one of the nitpicky things I'm I have is that like he's a Stark outrider ability commander like i know that they rolled house tully under house stark but it's not like house tully are not going to get their own cavalry because they have already um, shown off the tully cavaliers so it's not like i mean you would think whatever ability or training he has would be with those guys and not some northerners because he is He's Riverlands. He's not Northerner, really. I mean, if they, I don't know. It's it's a game, I know, but like I, I I don't get that choice. I do appreciate that we got a cavalry commander during the Kickstarter, though. So I guess that's why they put that ability, and I can I can see that. Here you can really see the difference between the hard plastic and the not so hard plastic. <laughs> this light. Okay, sorry. I'll go on. I feel like a ramble again. So, I do believe this is a sworn sword captain, alternate sculpt. For a second there, I thought it was Sir Roderick, but... I do believe that this is just a sworn sword captain, alternate sculpt. Again, looks fine. Not sure about the face doesn't strike me as northern but i guess it doesn't have to be like beardy bushy wild men all of them uh speaking of beardy bushy wild men here's a fantastic alternate sculpt of the great john umber himself <laughs> he's quite the large man himself with his great sword He is also very tempting to paint. Oh, it's difficult. I feel like characters are more motivating to paint right now. Um, I do believe this is a... Wait, is this Howland Reed or is the, the tracker? The Kranichman tracker alternate skull? Let me see the Stark Heroes real quick. Let's see what we have in here. A Howland Reed is there. So this is an alternate sculpt of, of the Kranich Man Tracker. I do believe I will be running. <laughs> if I had more of these, I would be running a lot of them. They seem incredibly good um, for especially archers. So I'd like 
another Krennic Men Tracker and another Archer unit. Because what he does, I believe, is if you attack ranged or not ranged, so it's great for both. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you attack someone that hasn't activated, you can reroll, which is basically kind of a charge with ranged, which is amazing. Or if you're already, I mean, you can still just charge in with them, do some decent damage as well. Even if it's disordered, I would guess that that ability still works. So it's like you're guaranteed as long as you charge something that hasn't activated. Anyway, sorry. Uh, Mage Mormont, her I was looking forward to. I believe she makes them very stubborn or fearless or something like that. And something else, but I can't remember. It's the only Mormont we have in the game so far. Her I'm looking forward to as well. Be cool with her paint scheme. I'm hoping for a Mormont unit or two. Some car starks, maybe some glovers, definitely. Okay, uh, again, let's save these. Just go over them real quick. Actually, I'll do that towards the end, and I'll say when I start that. So if you don't want to listen to me ramble, you just stop <laughs> watching. All right, let's do the rest of the Kickstarter exclusive stuff. All right, so these are all the plastic tokens. Let's see. They're also taped up pretty good. So these, I actually don't really know the symbolism yet because the battle reports I've seen are with placeholder tokens and they're far away and yeah. But I'll take a stab at what they are. And most likely get them wrong. And these are taped up pretty good. So, it's like a box of chocolates. Never know what you're gonna get. Right, forest, huh? Please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> right, let's see. Um, let's start with these. Uh, if I can get it in frame. So much junk. There we go. Should be in frame. Okay, um, so these, I would guess that these are objective markers. Plastic objective markers. I mean, it's really nice to have all of this in plastic. I do, however, feel like they're probably gonna run out. So I hope, like X-Wing, that this becomes a thing that you win at tournaments as well. So for those of us that are probably going to be veteran players at some point, we'll, we'll have a stockpile of them. Wait a minute, did I... I think, I think I dropped one. I can look back in the video and see if it was there. I hope... I'm, I'm guessing these are victory points, like one and three. These are not actually metal, it's just metal paint. Same on both sides, I believe. Um, Three. Oh, it was right there, all along. Uh, horn. Not sure. Some kind of rally, I suppose. Oh, it's probably an order. Like I've used an order this turn. Uh, this I would guess is maybe weakened. It's a broken sword. Uh, these are probably wound counters. Uh, these, I think, I would appreciate it the double amount of, with the amount of cavalry you get. Because these plastic tokens are going to run out real quick. Is this broken shield? Maybe this is weakened. I'm not actually sure. And this is probably panicked or something akin to that. It's a dude running away, dropping his weapons. Um, these are like green, it's like reinforcement tokens or like, I don't know. Like I said, I, I haven't played the game yet. Uh, I'm definitely getting all of these wrong. 
And this probably like a first turn counter, I would guess. Okay. Okay, that's basically all the heart content that was in here. So I went over the unit card for him. We can look at these unit cards. I'm gonna say that the unboxing bit is officially over because this is not exclusive stuff, it's just the miniatures. Uh I'll go through them quickly. Um yeah. Thanks for watching if this was what you came for, and this is just gonna be rambling, bloggy, unscripted. Uh, kind of thing from now on. I'm gonna pause real quick, check out my food. <laughs> hey guys, uh, <laughs> so I didn't actually end the video, uh, but as you can probably tell by the lighting, it is <laughs> quite a bit later in the day. So what it, what's happened is that, oh, never run with scissors, kids. Um, is that uh, I finished the unboxing of everything. Uh, and I felt like it's not a proper unboxing unless I show what cards are in there. Now, I'm not gonna go through them in any detail at all. I'm just gonna quickly show what cards are actually in the set, right? So, uh, let's just do it and show how many and all that stuff. Cause I mean, that's important. If, if what you're looking for here is like, oh, I only got whatever, like 32 cards when you're supposed to have 34 something. Like, I don't know. It'd be nice before you buy stuff to have confirmation what you actually get in it, right? That's what you watch. On. So we'll do this now. These are probably just all attachments. Let us have a quick look-see. Then I'm gonna do some inventory after this because there's a lot of miniatures and a lot of cards. Uh-oh. <laughs> awesome, that was actually, the random card that flew out was the one card I was like, I haven't seen this one yet and I'm not sure what package it should be in. You know what? These, if you go and buy this in the store, I'm not actually sure you get these cards. Now, if you're watching this video quite a few years after it's posted, the reason I'm getting these is because I backed it on Kickstarter. And I don't know what uh, individual pack you'll be in. You'll probably be in like Stark Heroes number two or something. Um, so yeah, let's, let's just start with this. This is because you get, I'm gonna show him, he is not in the box. I wanna make that clear. Uh, uh, in the Kickstarter, you got this guy, Brendan Tully, as a cavalry commander. Um, yeah, like I said, he's not in the box. But at least the way it came from the Kickstarter backer, the, the standard box here, there, his, his cavalry commander uh, tactics cards are, um, are in here. So probably disregard these. Actually... I would actually be curious to know if you bought this post Kickstarter in like a store or something, it would be cool to know if you got those, even though you didn't get the miniature. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so this is also something you will not see, uh, definitely will not see. This uh, zero point high Seneschal uh, neutral. Um, this is a Kickstarter exclusive thing. He has no abilities, do not worry. It's not like a pay to win kind of thing. It's just a miniature. It's an excuse to make a miniature of George R. R. Martin. So yeah, zero points, he does zero things. Yeah. Uh, you know what, these, actually all the things I'm unboxing right now, you're not, I just realized you're not gonna get these. Yeah, the mounted version, yeah, yeah okay. So, because these are for all the uh, the exclusive stuff you got in the Kickstarter by the look of things. I'll quickly just show you. Um, so, apologize. I apologize for this section. It's probably not super relevant to most people watching this. Uh, yeah. Character versions of Braun and Brienne. That's the neutral faction. More cavalry commander either as the commander or the attachment version for Brendan Tully. Put 
put all this to the side. Mage Mormont, again, you won't get this. Uh, it's, a, it's just a attachment. Another attachment, Kranichman Warden, Sworn Sword Captain. Now this you will get, it's just alternate art uh, because I got an extra uh, Sworn Sword Captain. The same with Assault Veteran and Guard Captain. I got some alternate art, alternate sculpt versions of those. Uh, but definitely their abilities will be the same. Got a mounted version of Gregor Clegane and a Jamie without one of his hands version. Again, this is stuff that you probably will not get and I apologize for even showing you that and 